engineering, science and research, and that's exactly what this government is doing. Question number nine, the Honourable Annette King. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Were the local authority financial statistics provided in the Better Local Government paper released by the government on the 19th of March accurate? If not, how were they inaccurate? This question is the Minister of Local Government, oh, the Honourable sorry, David Speaker. Carter. Uh, Mr Speaker, as the member was advised in written question 4531 and in a letter of mine to her on the 16th of July this year, a booklet was published that contained a table showing average rate increases from 2002 to 2010 for each council. This data became incorrectly correlated in the production of the table, resulting in incorrect rating increases being shown for some councils. This did not affect the reported figure of an average annual 7% rate increase by councils over the previous decade. The Honourable Annette question, King. Mr. Speaker. When was the then Minister of Local Government and the Prime Minister, who re released the figures at a press conference on the 19th of March, informed that there were issues with the data, both in terms of the accuracy and in terms of the picture that was being given for some councils? The Honourable David, pa uh, da David Carter. Mr. Speaker, I'm unaware of when the previous Minister and the Prime Minister became aware of when the information was known to be inaccurate. When I became aware, I wrote individually to every council apologising for the fact that the information was not correct. The Honourable Annette Question, Mr Speaker. Why didn't the Minister of Local Government or the Prime Minister inform the public, local government and the media that the data being used by the government to justify local government reform was inaccurate, but instead chose to keep quiet and let the media report the misinformation at the, to the detriment of local government. The Honourable David Carter. Mr Speaker, the reason driving the better local government reforms is fundamentally because the rate of council increases over the last decade has been more than twice the rate of rate increases over the previous decade. That is why this government believes better local reform is necessary. The Honourable Annette King. Speaker, can he confirm his department in a recent briefing to him and in two recent inquiries found no evidence that councils had broadened their function since 2002? And has he been informed by local government New Zealand as to what the cost of forcing councils to amend their long-term plans would be? The Honourable David Carter. To the first question, yes. To the second question, no. The Order, Mr. point Speaker. of order, the Honourable Annette King. Mr Speaker, I have a number of documents I wish to table. The first one is a letter to me from David Carter, dated the 16th of July, telling me that the incorrect figures will not be replaced because the correct figures would detract from the focus of the reform. Leave us all to table that document. Is there any objection? There is no objection. The, the second Annette document, King. Mr Speaker, is the March 7th, 19th Better Local Government paper, which has the inaccurate figures Order in them. That, that document, those available. Oh, no, it's impo members. important you hear both of these, Mr Speaker. I'll do but them together if you want me to. But it does show something. But the, the document, though, the document is available. Order. A point of no, order. it's not available now. <laughs> order. Order. There shouldn't be interjections. The, the member, is, as I understand it, is seeking leave to table the Better Local Government document which I understood has been released publicly. If I'm wrong, I apologise. No, I'm seeking to, um, to table a document that is now no longer available. <laughs> it's, it's now well, no I'll longer... leave that up to the House. The because it's been changed. Order. I invite the Honourable Member to continue. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I seek leave to table the 19th of March local government paper, which has the inaccurate figures in it. And then I seek to table the... Uh, a March, the, around the 24th, better local government paper that uh, has the figures removed from it. Leave us sought to table those two. Yep. Order. Well, okay, well, there are two documents, so leave us sought to table the 19 March document. Is there any objection? There is. Uh, <laughs> leave us now sought to table the. The which second date? document. The which, second document. Uh, which is has any got objection? the figures removed from it, Mr. Is there Speaker? any objection? There is objection. <laughs> The order, the Honourable Annette. Uh, Mr Speaker, I seek to table a letter 
to me from the former minister, Nick Smith, uh, dated the 29th of February, with a spreadsheet containing the data that was later called inaccurate. Leave us sort to table that document. Is there any objection? Oh, there is objection. And, Mr Speaker, finally, I seek, to, I seek to table a briefing to David Carter from Local Government New Zealand, which I received under an OIA, stating that the estimated cost of forcing local government to alter their long-term plans would be in excess of $20 million. Leave us sort of table that document. Is there any objection? There is no objection. Question number 10, Dr. Dr. Jackie Blue. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.